Um, let's get into it. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd try it. It <laughs> seems fun. <laughs> it seems fun. Ugh. I was okay. like, where are we going with this this question? Yeah, the claustrophobic question. Yeah. Okay. We're live. Oh, wow, really? Already? so weird. Yeah. I'm eating a del- <laughs> deli bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We won't get anything into anything important. Do you want a drink or something? I mean, I'm working for now. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Is that water? Or like... It's Propel water. So okay. it's a little uh, musty looking. Okay, but this is your paper. Oh, good. So you're the only one that's been so... I'll have to put that on the website. You wrote down all your questions, all the questions I sent you before. With color. With color. And you wrote all your answers. <laughs> But, like, I promise I'm not going to, like, read them to you. Good. <laughs> Although I haven't looked at them so since I read them. That's good. I, I don't want you to be too thought through, if that makes sense. I don't know even this where to put this. so cool. Thanks. I almost I lost it. <laughs> 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 I, I was transporting it because we did it on location at Dylan's, the last one I did. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> trying to get comfortable in the space here. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so we're under, I'm in a new house now, and we're under the stairs um, <laughs> in my new house, or my parents' new house, obviously. I like it. Thank you. Um, Is this your studio? I don't know, I just did this today for you, so I wanted to see <laughs> if it would work. <laughs> I think it does, I mean, it. I, like, had to put a bunch of stuff out that we had in here. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I think ultimately it's working pretty well. I don't know. I guess I'll see later how the sound is. I was going to say, are you doing it because of the acoustics, do you think? I think I think it could help, but I think it'd probably be just as good if we did it out there. <laughs> but it's also such a mess out there that I wanted to have only this space to have to clean. <laughs> Even though I'll just pretend you can't see any of that stuff. Well, I didn't look, so. Good. I hope your parents aren't upset that I'm just, like, not saying I just No, I don't think so. I think they understand. They know how this goes. They've been through they, this they, with me. They know the routine. Yeah. Um, oh, I've got ten more calories with this cherry one than I do with the other two. Really? <laughs> they have all three on there? Mm-hmm. That's funny. <laughs> Why that's is the cherry? Yeah, that's weird. Um, so, yeah, I almost, I almost lost my microphone. <laughs> And I didn't know where it was. Like in, in the move? No, and when I... The last podcast I did was like a week ago or something. Mm-hmm. And then I had it in a bag. And then I didn't know where I put the bag. So it was just... And there's stuff everywhere here because I'm like at Kenzie's a lot and here a lot. Mm-hmm. And so I have like two of everything. And it's all over everywhere. And it's... And we haven't been here a lot. We've been mostly over there. And it's just crazy. And uh, and so we haven't cleaned up here in a long time. Mm. And mm. so I didn't know where... Yeah. Oh, that goes way back. <laughs> way farther than I thought it was. Mm-hmm. I have to just assess my surroundings for a second. Yeah. Do you want right, to verbalize it so yeah. people understand? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm also like a nervous talker. So oh, okay. I just like talk <laughs> instead of doing something. Yeah. Otherwise, this would be me. <laughs> so that's my talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I feel great. Good. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have you cornered. I know. Well, I didn't want you to feel cornered. If you want to move out this way, you look like you're like huddled a little. Bit. No, it it feels good. Okay. Like I like being kind of up against the wall. This is a good hide. This is a great like uh, severe weather shelter. Yeah, yeah. It feels that way. I just need to get those. Um, Things astronauts have the powder food. What is that called? There's a name. Vacuum packed food. Yeah, but it's like a cool like acronym. Um, Ready made food or something or astronaut food. I think that, isn't it called astronaut? I think food? it is, but there's also another cool name, but it doesn't matter. It does matter, Tommy. This is your host and post here, Tommy Wait. Uh, what I was looking for is M R E, which is Medi, <laughs> which is Medi. Hmm, Medi or Ready. Uh, made ready to eat, M R E. It's a military thing, not an astronaut thing. So that's where I got mixed up, 
Thank you for your patience and loving kindness. God bless you all. So anyway, I called Kenzie and I didn't know where this was and I looked everywhere in this place like twice and then I looked at my car mm -hmm. and then I opened the door to get back from my car and it was sitting right in front of the door right there. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like I taunting just, you. Yeah, I didn't, for some reason I didn't look like right next to the door. Um, anyway, so I was worried it was going to be at Kenzie's and then <laughs> I'd be mm -hmm. like, have to either go back, which is an hour away. Yeah. Which wouldn't be possible, so I would just have to... I have, like, an extra one that I've never used, but I don't know how good it is. That's but this fancy. one's been giving me problems, too, so I don't uh -huh. even know if this one's... That's why I'm using my phone as a backup. Oh, that's I thought thing. it was connected. I thought your phone was connected to that. Your phone's connected to the... Computer. Er, the microphone's connected to the computer. Mm. The phone's connected to the outlet, because I'm at, like, 54% or something. Mm. Um... Okay. Do you want to start? <laughs> sure. You don't mind me eating my dilly bar? No. Yeah, I guess, uh... <laughs> <Crunch. be> good. <laughs> <laughs> you have one, too, by the way. Yeah. I didn't just bring them bring. for myself. Yeah. Although oh, I kind of did. I thought you were talking to them. Um, <laughs> no. This is a Dairy Queen ad. This whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll have one later for sure to celebrate. Oh, I'll probably have one with you then, too. Okay. Um... Our neighbor also makes hot sausage soup, and so I think I might have that after. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Although it'll be, might be late by then, but that's okay. Well, that's, I'm probably planning on going to Sheets after this. Oh, okay. To get, like, real dinner, because, like, I had cheese its on the way here, and that was my dinner. <laughs> cheese its <laughs> I keep looking down, and I just have, like, parts of my daily... Oh, oh, my pants. No. Speaking of your pants, they're friends' pants. They are. And did you see that they just announced there's like a reunion no, on HBO really? Max? Really? No. Well, okay. So I like, I think it was today they announced it. it. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know if you meant like they announced it today or yeah. they like were airing it yeah. today. And I'm not. I now have a stain on these pants, so that's nice. But anyway, it'll come out. Yeah, it'll come out, but not tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> I. So, like, this is an interesting story. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, like, taking over the whole... That's okay. Thing. That's... It's really small, obviously, so... Um, I was a Friends fan when I was in high school, like, like, major, mm -hmm. and watched it, like... Because it was actually on after, after school every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not after school. It was, like, later in the evening. So, anyway, we would watch it, and I was, like, obsessed. So, then I got all ten seasons on DVD. Uh -huh. And then they put all of the seasons on Netflix. Yeah. So then they took it off again, and I feel like it all is right with the world. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but these pants um, are actually from Ireland. They're from a store what? in Ireland. Yeah. Why? And I didn't even buy them because um, my friend, so my friend Shannon, who introduced me to Ireland, which is one of the questions uh -huh. that you have. Um, jumping ahead. Jumping ahead. <laughs> and that question's highlighted in green. Because <laughs> <laughs> Irish. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, like, several times, like, That's okay, back. you can't, I don't think you could fall. You yeah, I don't think really I could either, but go. there's going to definitely be a couple panic Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. Ireland. Uh, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, she lived in Ireland for, like, a, um, I think, yeah, the better part of a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just feeling out the, I didn't know there was a wire right here, go ahead. She, she lived in Ireland, and um, this was after I'd already been with her to Ireland for, like, two times. Wow. And um, I was like, there's a store called Marks and Spencer's. Oh, wait, Mark, Marks and Spencer? I don't think it's plural. <laughs> um, and there's also a school or a, a store called Pennies, but not, like, J.C. Pennies. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Pennies. Yeah. And, but they, I don't know what it is, but, like, when you go to, like, a different place, like, the fashion is just, like... It seems like all new, but it's it's really like just the same cheap clothing that we have. Yeah. But it like seems like a steal. Yeah. So it like seems like it's a lot cheaper, but it's not. <laughs> and so I was like, you have to buy me like a bunch of clothes. Like since I can't actually go there, I was like, I'll pay you for it. And she came back from Ireland with like five articles of clothing wow. for me. And these were one of them. That's so nice. they had like these friends sweatpants. When we went, I do remember they had a huge like Harry Potter mm. um, collection of like shirts and stuff. Yeah. But those are nice. They're, like, stitched, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. They're so comfortable. So I, like, usually come home from school and change immediately. And um, 
I like took a, like a very very short nap actually because I ended up being at school like way later than oh, I had planned. No. And I took a really short nap and um, I was like, I really hope that you. <laughs> I didn't think you would care what I was no. wearing. <laughs> and I was like, it's also a podcast, and so no one can see. Yeah. <laughs> But I was like, I want to be comfortable because I can just, I mean, this is like my like default like position. Like, yeah. Like chilled my back. So. <laughs> I need to finish this. Really <laughs> um, I could try to do the how we know each other by side so yeah. we don't have to talk a lot. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's I was trying to think my, so that I didn't give you much time to stall, but, um, <laughs> Uh, I think, I mean, obviously church, we first met, right. I guess we could start there. And then I, I really don't remember. <laughs> Do you have a memory? Um, like, I don't remember. Like, you mean like the first time? The met? first time or like just your first memory. I guess the first memory that I could think of. And I was thinking about this, like my memory is everybody's memory is weird, but I was thinking, like, why is... Are memories in there really deep sometimes and you don't remember or you can't access it or do you, like, literally forget sometimes? Because, like, with, hmm. with the microphone, I didn't... I had no memory when I was looking for it where I put it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I remember I had it with Dylan, blah, 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 and then I was like, I have no memory after that. And then once I saw it there, I was like, oh, I remember putting it down there. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, oh, I don't know where to put this yet. I'll just put it right mm -hmm. here. And I remember thinking that. So like, why didn't I? Couldn't why couldn't I remember that before? I think you do. I think you do for yourself and just complete. It just like gone. Yeah, but then it it was there. I just like I remember. You the, had to recall it. Yeah. So I, I don't get it. I don't know. Like there are times <laughs> where I drive to work and I don't like I got to work and I'm like I don't remember. Yeah. How to drive here. My mom says that all it's the time. It's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, well, wait, keep talking, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> You're down to the stick part. Um, Where you have to, like, straight the, like, yeah. rush of the watch off. Yeah. Um, so I think my earliest that I could remember without help is, um, <laughs> uh, we just were helping with youth group. Did you help? With youth group when I was in youth group? No. Okay. Because... Oh, yeah, visitors. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear the crackling upstairs of opening doors. Um, when... When I was a senior... I didn't help until after, after college. Mm-hmm. And when I was in a senior in college, you would have been a freshman in college. Okay, okay. And then my first year out of college, which is when I helped. Yeah. You had already been in college. Right, okay. So we were helpers together. Mm-hmm. We were in youth group together, too. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> right, yeah. So. But you, I think, what is, how many years are we different? I went three. I graduated really? from high school in 2012. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I did when 2015. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Which okay. like doesn't seem like a lot now, but it seems like a ton. Like a I lot know. That's why I was like kids. second yeah. guessing it. Right. Okay. So that's like part of what I have is like. Um, well, the first thing that I wrote was church, comma. Wait. This is gonna be like a. I just have a like, <laughs> disclaimer for for this this whole conversation like. Were you there the day that... I don't think you were, because I don't think you were, like, consistently helping out with youth group, but did you just apologize for this being... Yeah, because it got... <laughs> my friend Ricky, who people on the podcast know, he ripped one, and then... And then it just... It was just bare for a while, and then <clears throat> my dad's like, oh, you can get them on Amazon. I was like, oh, cool. And it was, like, a really form-fitting, nice, mm -hmm. like, slit in there. Yeah, yeah. And then he got me those, and they just, like, slide almost immediately. All over the place. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, so I'm always, like, insecure about that. <laughs> that's okay. I just thought it funny that you were, like, apologizing for something that, like, you clearly had no part in over there. Um, whoa. <laughs> Another fall. There it is. That's number two. Take a shot. Um, so, anyway, my disclaimer about this mm -hmm. is, like, when, um, 
I don't think you were helping with youth group, but like there was one year, I want to say it was like the first or second year that I helped and Luke had us do like, um, test, like, uh, leader testimonies. So mm. your parents were helping. Yeah, I was yeah. The entire time I helped, your parents were helping. And I actually think they helped a year before I did. Probably. Or started helping a year before I did. And, um, so like we, he just like had us do our testimony about like our like faith journey and life and things that are important to us and stuff like that. Like to be, like talk on basically like this, like having a conversation about like, this is what I think about life. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I wrote it all down mm -hmm. and same, the same thing. And then like, I get this, I get this like point where I get awkward when I'm like, I, I don't I don't know what it is. That's like a whole other conversation. <laughs> but like I would get to a point where I'd be like, okay, page yeah. two. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would like announce page two, yeah. and they would all be like, or actually, when I um, gave my like testimony like in college mm -hmm. and in like the one group that I was in, I like put it in. I like put it into an outline form mm -hmm. with like Roman numerals, and I yeah. was like, oh no. I was like, part two. And then I like to like put my head back into my paper. So that's like just a fair warning that like I panic and I'm like, yeah, like I know I know the questions, but I like need to talk right away. And that's something I've been working on too is, is like not talking right away and being okay with like silence yeah. and like pauses. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know why I've been challenging myself to do that. But anyway, um, so if I recall facts from my, <laughs> my fact sheets. Okay. That's fine. So we, um, I, I remember, I just remember he's the kid with long hair. Yeah. I was, I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> Which like to be, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. When we were kids, I thought it was weird. <laughs> not fine. weird, but like, maybe not weird. Maybe weird's not the right word. But I was like. I just thought it was odd because I'm like, it's not very common for like, boy, at least like when we were growing up, it wasn't really yeah. common for boys. Well, I guess, I don't know, not as common as boys having like shorter <laughs> And so I, I don't know. I always like used it as like, like a punchline piece. Like, oh yeah, Tommy Witten is long hair. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't, and I don't know why that's the memories that that's I have so of you. Well, because it's the... It's the easiest thing to remember, and it's the weirdest thing about me without knowing me. Do you want to hear another interesting thing Always. that, like, um, perspective, perspective I have on you? <laughs> is, like, a lot of people that I know um, have siblings, and yeah. they're, like, one of the only... Not one of the only people, mm -hmm. but, like, growing up, you might have been, like, one of the only people I knew that was, like, an only child. Yeah. So it was just, like, your parents and you, and I'm like, what is his life like? I know. Like... <laughs> being at home and not having another child the same age like yeah. around the same age yeah so i always kind of like looked at you guys from like metaphorically looked at you guys yeah. from like across like the church and been like right what's your life like? yeah that sounds funny <laughs> have people told you that before? um because you didn't seem very surprised when i just said that <laughs> <laughs> i guess i guess i know that it's rare to be rarish to be a only child so I, I, I guess I never really heard that, but I just kind of assumed people were like, you just interested in that, that. In, in some way, but not enough to be like, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> are you making uh, it? <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, I wasn't concerned yeah. about you. I was just like, I honestly, I had times like when I was a kid where I was like, um, just, I don't know. Like that's part of like that is so much a part of my life, my sister. Yeah. That like it's hard for me to understand like how you, like what it's like to not have a sibling. Yeah. Is all. I get that. But that's the uh that's that's all. Like that's that's very sad that like we don't really have like a this is when we first met and this is what I remember I know, and like I know. It's like that with um people who have always been Christians, they don't have, like, the fun, oh, I was oh, yeah. partying hard in the 70s, and... <laughs> and I had, like, a... Like, yeah. Like and a then I moment. found him. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I have an interesting, like, I have an interesting perspective on that, too, but... Hit it. Um, what is it? Okay, so... I don't know what to do with this paper. No, I know, I hit so everything sorry. that I wanted to hit. On that? <laughs> 
tell. I said, I thought it was odd at the time, your long hair. But now I think you look great with long hair. <laughs> and that it suits you and your personality really well. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're I need that. I don't. You need that? You I don't, don't need like it, that. but like it. But you appreciate it. Yeah, I, I always. I feel like I should be. I've had it for so long now, I should like be constantly checking in. Is it still okay? Oh. <laughs> it's still cool. Do I still look good in it? Because some people can't pull it off, and I... Oh, you definitely can. Thank I you. think you would look weird with short hair. I feel that way, too, but I've also been this way for so long, and I don't know. I don't. I have no plans to change it, but that's... Well, you're basically like your dad with short hair. Not that... I mean, your dad's great. <laughs> but, like... What do you mean? <laughs> so, like, I'm picturing, like, you with short hair when we were kids. Yeah. Because I feel like... I'm, I'm remembering, like, pictures from, like... Maybe it was a mission trip my senior year it was like yeah. right before i went to grove city and uh-huh. then we went to grove city yeah we stayed at on grove city's campus and i think you had short hair which would have been after your freshman year of high school i remember that yes and so like i'm thinking i'm like remembering pictures from mm-hmm. that i also had short hair by the way because i got my hair sh- cut really like chopped off right oh. after graduation and donated it to lots oh, of okay. but they or i remember this picture of your hair just like being like really short yeah and i just like not that i don't think you look weird i think it's just like <laughs> Like, I think it's, like, the, the opposite. Like, most most guys, like, look normal with, like, short hair. And you look normal with long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would look strange with, like, lo- like other I people know. look strange with long hair. I don't know what that is. Like, what is it about a person that, like, looks better with short or long hair? I don't know. I personally think that my face looks fatter whenever I'm, when I have my short hair. Huh. And I hate it every time I look back at pictures. So, like, I was in this trend where, like, every four years, I did it for, like, four years, uh-huh. or four different times. Yeah. Every four years, I would get my hair sh- um, cut. Yeah. And then donate to Locks of Love. Mm-hmm. Because I love my red hair, and I want, like, the girls who had red hair that yeah. lost their hair yeah. to have wigs made for That's them cool, of yeah. natural red hair. Uh-huh. And so, <laughs> I... But then every time I would look back on the pictures, I'd be like... Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Like, you look so much prettier with long hair. So, like, my friend's getting married in October, and so I have not let my hair, myself cut my hair yeah. because of that. And then also, well, actually, two, like, a couple of years ago, I don't know if it was two years or, like, four years now at this point, but actually, I think it was every two years that I got it cut, not four. Um, but I got to a point where I'm like, I could be getting married soon, and what happens if I get married? And, like, or, like everything happens fast and <laughs> I have short hair like I'm gonna have to wait for my hair to grow for my yeah. wedding because I don't want I don't want like short hair for my wedding yeah. and um jokes on me <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm getting to the point on quite honestly actually really considered with the with the pandemic yeah um mail order bride <laughs> no <laughs> going that direction <laughs> no i was gonna say that every time i would come home because my parents are like older i would take a shower right away uh. and so i was washing my hair constantly and it is a pain in the butt i have to use well i don't know your hair looks thinner than mine uh-huh. but like i use four pumps of shampoo yeah and when i use like my conditioner it's a lot and it, it's also just a pain in the butt. It just, like, makes my sh- showers really long, and I hate showering in the first place. I yeah. think they're unnecessary, but mm. also necessary. <laughs> and, um, uh, what was I going to say? Showering four times, <laughs> four pumps. <laughs> yeah. Um, I almost got my hair cut then, because I was like, this would just make it a lot easier. Because, actually, I started getting my hair cut short when I was in, like, middle school, Uh because I had, um, like, I used to get, or not middle school, elementary school, I used to get pixie cuts every summer, because I went to, what's that, again? Um, it's, like, boy, like, boy, short, yeah, and it's just, it's just the nice way to put it for girls, (laughs) um, and (laughs) I think they call them pixie cuts, because it's, like, Tinkerbell, like, oh, yeah, cool, yeah, or at least that's my understanding of it, Mm -hmm. and, I used to, I got to Camp Allegheny every year, for mm. every summer, and so I used to get my hair cut short so that, like, I could mm. shower really quick. Yeah. And we used to have camp competitions, like, against the boys' cabin and see, like, who, like, whose cabin could, like, get showered faster and everybody really? out. Yeah. Wow. So I was like, terrible. well, I need to, like, take one for the team and cut my hair off. <laughs> um, 
But so like I was never afraid of having my hair short. Um, all that being said, yeah, I almost cut it off for the pandemic. And then I'm like, no, like I just, I need to keep it along for Ashley's wedding. And also I like, I like what I look, how I look better with longer hair. So that's the, the hair journey. You've done your locks of love part and now it's someone else's turn. Yeah. And I think the next, (laughs) the next time I donate, I'll be, I'll give it to the locks of love again. Mm Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, I don't know when that's going to be because I, I used to be on a schedule where it was like every two years yeah. I'd get my hair cut. Um, the other thing, the other only, only other thing that I had under that question was like, this is part of my OCD. I need to finish. My okay. Okay. <laughs> The only other thing that I was going to say was about how, like, the age difference. Like, I, I, I think because, like, so, like, when I think when two people, when people are <coughs> two years older than me or two years younger than me, yeah. they seem like they're in my, like, niche. But yeah. then three years is, like, a little bit, like, is, I don't know, it's a jump. Yeah. Except for whenever you're in college, when you're in high school, when you have those four years that you're in school right. together. Right, yeah. But, so, like... Because, like, if you think about it, like, the people who were, like, seniors when I was a freshman, I was only ever in a school with them once, and it right. was at the end of high school. Yeah. So, like, I always thought that because of that, like, distinction, I always thought you were, like, a lot younger than me. And mm-hmm. then, like, even, like, in the past couple of years when you've helped out with youth group, I, like, forget that you're, like, you were still in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Oh, but that's all. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. But it's not, not much, much, nothing much cheaper. <laughs> cheaper? Deeper. Oh. <laughs> um. I guess the only thing I wanted to say was, I, for people that are maybe having trouble understanding, I had long hair from like third grade to fifth is, fifth ish grade. But I feel like it. I feel like I remember it being straight. And like sleek. Yeah, it was. Like, it was, yeah. And those like hair flip back. <laughs> like, 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 like the boy, middle school boys used to do. Yeah. <laughs> Pat it down in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was straight, and I don't know what happened, but um, then I just I got a buzz cut because it was too hot for football. <laughs> you and pulled then, like a Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Or Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. <laughs> I got so hot. <laughs> And and then it was just short until like man buns were cool in mm-hmm. 2014. Mm-hmm. And then I started growing it out, and then it was kind of not as cool to have man buns by the time I could have a man bun. And I was like, well, this is, st- I still look oh, better. I think you I can think. do a man bun anytime. I, yeah, I know. It's just not, anytime, it just hit different 2014. I yeah, I, I, I do think you're right, though. Like, I do remember <laughs> there being a time. There was this one, like, vine that I remember, like, very distinctly of this beautiful man. <laughs> in, a, in a man bun. And I just remember. <laughs> Another almost fall. Yeah. Yeah. So. Good times. Fine. Mm-hmm. Um, what have you learned about yourself during the pandemic other than you want to cut your hair? <laughs> um, so, like, I've learned... I have, like, more of a perspective on, like, the world and how it's, like, affected the world and, like, other people than it has myself. Mm -hmm. Um, For myself, like, I think that I... It's kind of, like, twofold. I had, like, a a bad breakup in February. Mm -hmm. And so then, like, everything started. (laughs) (laughs) Everything started... Um, in like March. And so anyway, yeah. like dealing with that and then Bad everything started in March. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. And like, it wasn't even like a real breakup. Like if you ever listen to this and be like, we weren't together anyway, right. Rachel. <laughs> That's funny. But, um, he, so, but I, so like when the, um, pandemic started, like whenever it was normal, we were all kind of like figuring out at life but then like i think i want to say it was like in the summer like june and july Mm -hmm. when when things were still shut down yeah and um we were in it for a while yeah it was um i was like wow this really sucks like 
this is like you know you see like all everybody posting about how like oh like you know I get to um, like I have a, I have quite a few friends who are married and um, obviously um, it's just them they don't have kids yet and so like they they'd be like spending all day with my best friend yeah. and like you know I don't have to go anywhere and like like even like my like Maggie and John like my sister yeah um they like you know and some people were like oh I'm getting tired of my spouse or my kids or something yeah. like that and I'm like I get that too like I'm not saying it's probably all sunshine and roses because mm-hmm. I do I did enjoy and I still do enjoy being like lots of things lots of parts of my single life with having like time to like do what I want and not have yeah. to take care of people <clears throat> and other stuff like that but um it just really bugged me like it got to a point in the summer where I was like really annoyed yeah. because I I was like this is ever home hopefully only ever going to happen once in yeah. our lives that there's this yeah, huge yeah, yeah. pandemic that we're all shut indoors <laughs> and of course I'm not married yet know, for yeah. it you know I don't have anyone and yeah exactly yeah. and so that though forced me to like be more be a better friend because like mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. I like I was, like, a pretty good friend, like, in high school, and then I got really stressed out, um, with, with school, and, like, I could only focus on one thing at a time, so I would push other areas of my life away, yeah, and yeah. so, like, like, in, so, like, the best way to explain it is by, by, like, text messages, like, yeah. when I was in high school, I would text people, people back right away, because, uh-huh. like, not that many people texted me <laughs> in the first place, um, but, like, that was just what I did, but yeah. then whenever I was in college, like, I would get to a point where it would just stress me out that, like, even if someone just, like, texted, like, hey, what's up or something, mm-hmm. like, it would stress me out, I'm yeah. like, that's just another thing I have to check off my to-do list, so I just wouldn't respond, uh-huh. and when that started, I, like, it, like, started, like, a downhill of, like, me being, like, a good good friend, which I think probably my friends would hear that and be like, well, like, I, I think I think that on it to an extent they could be like, yeah, she's a little flaky sometimes. Not flaky, like, I would, well, well but yeah, flaky. Like, actually, I was just thinking when I woke up from my nap that I, like, used to in college sometimes, like, take a nap after class, and I had, like, dinner plans with people, oh, and no. I would text them and be like, um, like, it can actually tonight doesn't work can we do another night or something and they'd be like oh yeah totally and i would just like continue sleeping like it was yeah it was terrible and um but i so i like and i still am working on being a better friend yeah but what i realized this summer with the pandemic was i was like okay So, like, there's literally nothing you can do about not having, like, a significant other right now. So this is the time to be focusing your energy um, and your love on your... in love with your friends. Because, like, that's... Like, I think I would... I think I would be a fool not to be spending my time um, now not living the moment and loving my friends. Mm -hmm. And so... That was the biggest thing that I've learned and really appreciated from the pandemic because I've actually been able to, like, be, like, I've made it, I've been making it, like, a goal at least monthly to check in with, like, my my core group of people, mm-hmm. which is, like, I don't know, I don't want to try to, like, list it or, yeah. like, count them all now, but I want to say it's, like, a like a solid, like, 15 people that I'm wow. pretty close to, yeah. and so, like, I was, like, which, I, I guess, another thing, reason why it's, like, stressful to keep up, like, with everybody, because it is so many people, uh, yeah. that it's, like, that's why sometimes I just push it off, but, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've been trying to do that, like, monthly, and, like, I think this school year has been going pretty well with that, because, I, like, have nothing else to do with my time. Like, I'm not hanging out with a guy that, like, is, like, taking up my time. So mm-hmm. I'm, like, I can be spending this time with my friends who, like, I love and yeah. are here now. Yeah. And, you know, so that's probably the big thing that I learned about myself. Yeah. Um, and now I'm going to let you talk because I feel like I've talked a lot. No, that's okay. Um, you said a lot of good stuff. Um, that's something that I was like excited about um after like my first breakup Mm -hmm. i was like now i'm gonna be like a bonkers good friend (laughs) 
<laughs> like that. <laughs> and <clears throat> and that was like one of the things that like made me feel good and um and just work on yourself. Um Yeah. In between like it being convenient to be with your friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh so that was a fun aspect. And then I do feel like I'm a, not as good of a friend. Um and it's not like Kenzie's fault, but um, I, I like I want to be with her all the time, right. so um, it's hard for me to, and I don't want to like feel like I'm not paying attention to her, so I don't text people back right away or like I forget about it or whatever. But that was kind of boring. But that's just what I. No, about I know. Sure, I know what you're saying, and I think like my like the best well maggie's pretty good at it but she's also just like the best sister in the world (laughs) but like my some that someone who i've been so impressed with is that like my roommate um one of my roommates from college um Brittany, who Mm -hmm. has was dating her now husband all through college Mm -hmm. and so she did an amazing job of like like which I guess I think it's so amazing because I certainly could not have done done that if I were dating someone at the time. Like, I would have been wanting to spend time with them all the time. Yeah. And I would not have been such a good friend. But she did such an amazing job. Like, it, it made me feel so loved that she would, like, person or like purposely set aside times for just us girls mm-hmm. and be like, okay, Matt, like, go do stuff with your friends or, like... You know, I'm having, like, a yeah. like, roomy night tonight. But, yeah. like, she would, like, pur- purposely set aside some time for yeah. us, which I thought was just, like, so meaningful because, yeah. like, as a as a friend, it's, like, yeah, that per- your, that significant person or other is your person yeah. that you like spending the most time with. Mm-hmm. But, like, she, like, was so good at, at, like, making sure that, like, we also were like important and mm-hmm. we weren't like she never she like made it a point to make sure that we knew that we were i don't want to say just as important because i wouldn't want matt to hear this yeah. like i'm just as important as you are matt in mm-hmm. Brittany's life yeah but like you know she did like she made it like it you know it wasn't like matt and then us yeah. like it was like the all i love all of these people in my life and mm-hmm. so i'm gonna give them like yeah like my attention and time yeah I could be so. better at that, but um, I don't know. I feel like I'm talking about me. I'm not like active, like. I don't think you're. I don't think you're bad exactly. at it. Okay. By the way, like because because like I have people like there are people who don't text me back. Really? <laughs> Which who? Well, I mean, like they do eventually, yeah. or they won't ev- like yeah, eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, or they'll take a longer time to text back, and yeah. um, and I'm like, well, whatever, like because I do the same thing, so I can't be mad. <laughs> but. Like, you always, like, get back at, like, even, like, within a day or, like, yeah. or after a day or something like that, yeah. which I think is, like, and I'm not even, I wouldn't even consider myself one of your closest friends, probably, mm. so, like, <laughs> if you're, you're probably, like, friends with, like, or, I mean, you probably have, like, other, like, really great friends that you're probably even more, like, um, like. Close. Yeah, or close, but, like, you are better at, not even better at getting back at, to them, but. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I think, I, sh- I think from my perspective, like, you get back to me with, like, a, like, quick response time, Tommy. Thanks. So, I don't think you're doing a bad job. Thank you. Is that, that was my whole, like, the whole time in that, um, little, like, monologue I just did was me trying to make you feel better. <laughs> Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> um. I like this Tommy Lee right pen. Yeah. It's yours. Do you have one yet? <gasps> no. What? It's mine? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Uh, <gasps> it lights up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that and fun? is this a stylus? Yes. <laughs> this is a fancy pen. This is the bougiest pen I've ever seen. I know. Seen. It's got to be the best. How do you put me. the point back down, or does it? Oh, uh, you twist at the tip. <gasps> the old twist tip. Mm, okay, got it. Oh, and this is the light yeah. switch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is important, but maybe people might think, want to hear, like, both sides of, uh, of being good or bad at hanging out with people, but Mm -hmm. I think because of the pandemic, too, I haven't been good at, like, setting a time to, like, actually be in person with my friends, Mm -hmm. because I don't 
because up until like two months ago, whatever it was, um, people weren't vaccinated. So, um, I didn't want to risk, um, getting sick and bringing it back to Kenzie and and her whole family and all that stuff. So, uh, but now hopefully, like, I'm really glad and I will be glad later that we had this time that we are so like inseparable Mm -hmm. and then, cause I know in the future we won't be like that. So, right. Anyway. Um, I thought, I, I remembered another thing that, um, I guess when you were a senior, I was, I did a play, the murder mystery play Mm -hmm. that we do at the church every year back in the day, we used to at least, um, and you were just like a maid or something and I was like a (laughs) sidekick. I was always a maid, never a bridesmaid, um, or uh, that was close, but it, 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 it could have been funny. Um, always a maid, never a bride. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Um, and <laughs> and I was like the sidekick to Ross, like he yeah. was like a main bad guy or whatever. Line, yeah. And so we had like a secret relationship. <laughs> See, like I don't, I I like vaguely remember that, but like also like no offense, but like probably the reason I don't remember that is because I think I also had a play where it like. Rachel and I were like obsessed with Troy, like it was written into the strip into the script. Uh huh. He's oh Troy. Troy Soskowski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, we were like, um, <laughs> we were both like supposed to be like infatuated with him. Yeah. Which was really. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but so yeah, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> or um. I like I think I I think I do. What, do you know what the, was it the one that was, like, on a cruise ship? Or, like, in a mansion? Um, <laughs> All of the, like, various I think murder mysteries. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was a mansion, because, I don't know, because we were in the Old West, because we were, like, henchmen to Ross, oh. who was, like, a gunslinger or whatever. Okay, yeah, no, it's coming back to It me. doesn't matter. No, <laughs> We have it somewhere. I'd love to watch <gasps> it. Do you have it recorded? Yeah, but I don't... It's on, like, an old, like, video recorder. Um, yeah, we broken. definitely did not record that. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded other things. Like, we have, like... Um, actually, I don't know. Were you ever in, like, the children's plays that, like, Mrs. Greer did? Yeah, yeah. We have those on tape. Ah, okay. Which are, which are always fun to watch, like, because Maggie and John... Um, like, we've known John since we were, like... Yeah. Kid, kids. Yeah. Kids. And, and he's your sister's... Husband, husband now, yeah, yeah, he's my brother-in-law. Yeah, and yeah. there, and so like, it's so funny to watch that because like, you, it's just it's cool. I yeah. always thought that was really cool. Like that, which which is part of my like whole thing. Remember when you said that you met Kenzie on Tinder? I was like, Bleh. yeah, you laughed. At me. <laughs> I mean to laugh at you, but my thing is like, I always think that it's gonna be someone who I'm like, who I already know, or who I like. I don't know. I have this like. Um, like dream of it being like like the person that I'm marrying being like like a high school sweetheart, which was why it was so hard to let go of my last relationship mm-hmm. partially. Yeah. And then, but like also like I just think that there's so something like so romantic and yeah. about like like knowing someone like in childhood or something. Like yeah. That. So that's why like with with all of like our videos that Maggie and John are in, I'm like, yeah. I want that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when my mom like. Maggie and I, Maggie and John start date, started dating. My mom was like, I always knew that um, John was going to end up with one of my girls, but I thought it was going to be Rachel. Really? <laughs> yeah. Which I'm like, I think I maybe liked John for like a hot second yeah. in like <sighs> middle school. Uh-huh. And then realized that he was Maggie's and then ec- like checked out of that box. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. clicked out of that dialogue box <laughs> whatever. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know why I just used a... Computer analogy. <laughs> I hate computers. <laughs> but yeah. That made sense. Well, okay, so like the other thing that I. this See, this is maybe the downfall of me having notes because then, like I said, with my OCD, it's like now I have to finish this. Yeah. But I also think that if if I didn't write stuff down, like this would not be a quality talk because I would just be like bumbling around. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, 
the the other thing, I have like very strong opinions on <laughs> how the pandemic has affected the world. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm interested to see what you think. Okay. So like, I believe that humanity and people have been doing like terrible things for all of history. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I just felt that I've, I've felt like this, and probably in the last decade of my life, that, like, there are so many horrible, terrible things happening in the world, and, like, all of, like, the downfalls, or all of the things that are brought about from uh, technology that have, like, corrupted society, and how, like, kids are spending, like, so much time online, and not enough social interaction, yeah. whatever, <laughs> the whole commentary, but, like... But I guess, I don't know. I think that the, we were, I, I, there were times where I got like so hope, hopeless about like, what, what am I going to do that's going to like make a difference on on anything being bad in this world? Like there would be some like problems, like where people would come to me and there'd just be like terrible things like that they would ask for like prayer for, or like, um, like in college we would be talking about you know like third world countries and Mm -hmm. just like all of these things where i'm like i just felt completely hopeless and i'm like i i don't know whatever is going to change anything i don't know how we could get back to like make any progress Mm -hmm. and stuff like that and it's like it seems like such a like like you're like a drop in the ocean sort of thing yeah and um when the pandemic hit it kind of put everyone on pause and it was, it forced everyone to pause. And it also was like, obviously because it's a pandemic worldwide. So it, it, it stopped for no one. Like it, like Mm -hmm. it was not discriminatory. Like it came for everybody. And so what I think is that because that was so universal that it like made people stop and think and like take a step back and like reassess and like maybe like I'm I hope that I I don't know this I guess this is how I also um justified not justified the pandemic Mm -hmm. but justified not feeling like the world was going to end whenever it all started because I think a lot of people were like really really depressed because they were like like this is terrible and Mm -hmm. I like didn't want to let myself go there so I was like there has to be some kind of positive outcome and that's the positive outcome that I came up with I'm like this is just this this had to happen something huge like this happened had to happen to be able to like affect so many people Mm -hmm. but but I also think that that's like I don't want anyone to hear that and to be like well that's such a light like light-hearted view that you have Mm -hmm. there but like you didn't lose like three family members or whatever and so like I don't mean it to be taken lightly at all but like i think that that's the way that i like view it you're saying people had to (laughs) stop and just stop for a second (laughs) yeah yeah i mean i feel like or like we were like hurtling toward not destruction i mean although like is that what life is like it like are we hurtling toward destruction right like eventually it's going to become I don't know. Eventually, the world's gonna come to an end, and I don't know why, but I always just assume that the world's gonna come to an end in some terrible way. Like it's not all—it's not just gonna like stop all of a sudden. It's just, hmm. but like also, is the world gonna end when Jesus comes back? Is that when the world's gonna end, or is it gonna end? Like, what how's it gonna happen? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Even theologians, I'm sure, can't agree. Right. But. But so. Yeah, I guess I'm saying that, like, I think we were hurtling toward, like, things are getting worse and worse, mm-hmm. and I think that this just, like, caused people to stop back yeah. or, like, step back. Um, but I guess now that I'm realizing it, like, I'm not really phrasing it in a way that you can respond. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> That's my answer to what have you learned about yourself during the pandemic. Okay, that's good. But that's not what I learned about myself. But that's my, my thoughts on that's it. That's okay. I like that answer, too. Um, we're 50 minutes in. We have two down, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. We might skip some. Is that okay? <laughs> that's fine, yeah. Okay. Um, this is a 
the juicy one, so can, I guess. Wait, what? can you imagine like all of like the background noise that's going to be in this podcast because I'm like, can't sit still <laughs> over here. I've been thinking about it, yes, yeah, much. I'm so sorry. Just kidding. Oh. Um, okay, I don't know if you're being serious. Or I've, not. I've, I noticed, but I wasn't like dwelling on it. Uh, just don't talk when you move, and then I can cut it out later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has OCD and anxiety affected you and how you grew up and today? Which is a lot of words, but uh, <laughs> um, partly we know that you have to read everything that you write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's already what you already know about. Yeah. Me. Now, is that what you were saying was going to be a juicy one? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I'm also always constantly judging myself. So I'm like, Rachel, you're you're being boring. Like, this mm. is not, like, a fun podcast because you're just, like, talking. I'm having fun. So, I hope you are. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> but, um, so, like... I guess I'll look at what I wrote because I don't know. I don't even know like where to start. Like, do you want like the journey, like how it started, or like what are your thoughts? Like, what are you going for? I guess start with how. When did you first see it like manifesting, and then we'll go from there. Um. What's weird is, like, it almost immediately came in, like, out of the woodwork in, like, my, like, maybe around sophomore, junior year of high school. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I was a kid, like, I don't really remember ever being, like, having any kind of OCD. Yeah. I'd had fears, but, like, just normal fears. But, like... I remember there was one time where, like, well, the where I first started seeing it show up was when I would read or write. Um, I'd have to make sure that I understood every single thing that I was reading. Okay. And if I didn't, I'd have to go back and read the sentence again until I understood it from all possible perspectives. <laughs> Interesting. Which, can you imagine? Like, I, like, it's so t- hard to read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. And then I got to a point where there was time. So, like, I guess I should, like, back up and explain that, like, and I don't, and I'm no expert on OCD, but I'm an expert on my OCD. Right. So, um, I, when I was, I think that, like, OCD obviously stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. So, like, there's something that you obsess over, but then there's, it's also paired with an action. Mm. And, like, the thing that I obsess over is that, like, what happens is, like, a negative thought, quote-unquote, air quotes, goes mm. across my mind, yeah. and then I worry that um, if I'm doing something while that n- thought comes across my mind, someone somewhere that either I know or not, s- it's somebody I know. It's not anybody that I don't know, because yeah. how would I know if something would happen to someone I don't know? Uh-huh. But it's always somebody that I know remotely. Yeah. If I'm thinking about that person, when that like negative thought about them comes across my head, mm-hmm. then and I'm doing something, like, for example, turning a light switch off, yeah. then I have to do it again to undo it. Right, yeah. So, like, so, for example, like, I used to, like, I don't think I've ever told anybody this before, but, like, when I was, like, in, in I guess it was middle school, like, my... <laughs> My one teacher had, like, three little kids, and there was, like, I love kids. I have no, like, I have no idea where this comes from. I think it's, to be honest, like, you you know, I'm a Christian, so, Mm -hmm. like, I tie it to my faith. I think it's the devil, and I know that people, like, hate hearing, like, (laughs) it's the devil at Uh work inside me. Like, get out, devil. Like, not, not here, not today. But, like, so I think, I don't know how people would respond if they hear that, but, like, I think it's, like, the devil trying to lead me. Or trying to, um, trying to win, and like obviously, God is the winner <laughs> like, in my heart. <laughs> so Jesus. Um, but I think that yeah. So anyway, wow, I can't remember what I was saying. I think like the the thought 
of like someone getting hurt, like a child dying or something, yeah. is like so like scary mm -hmm. to me. And I don't know why, but like I think it was the devil putting in my head, like, you know, this could happen and it's going like and because you thought of it. It it's not like I knew mm. it wasn't my fault. Yeah. And so I started like associating like things like that, people dying or people getting hurt because yeah. of something that I did or didn't do, which is totally irrational. Right. But, but then at the same time, it's like, I paired it with like compulsions. So like, like light switches are actually really common for people with mm -hmm. OCD. But I've like, heard that before. Yeah. And, and why, I don't know yeah. <laughs> what it is about light switches. I couldn't tell you, but like the, um, I think probably has to do with it, like, ha going on and off. Yeah, and like, metaphors. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, I would have to, like, turn my... I would have always do things in threes. Because okay. I would think that the first two canceled each other out. And then the oh, third one was... Oh, interesting. Like, like the yeah. real one, yeah. It's not weird. No, that's not weird. Yeah, so, so then... So, and I started doing stuff like that with, like, light switches. And then I had this bunny shelf. So, like, my, ki my room was the nursery whenever, like, we were kids. Like, Maggie moved into, like... The office room whenever mm. like we were kids and so that was her room and then I had the what the nursery just became my room because yeah. I was the younger one and we had so it had like bunny wallpaper until we redid the, everything but then we kept this little shelf that was a corner shelf mm. and it was a bunny and it's where I kept my alarm clock and my glasses I take my glasses off and I put them on that shelf okay. and this has started happening in high school where I would go and put my take my glasses off like right before I went to bed and mm -hmm. I put them up on this shelf but I would have to like eat if while I was letting go of them if I thought something bad mm. then I'd have to like touch them again yeah or like and then like that was like over and over and over again and then like once you I don't know if it's something about like psychologically but like once you start doing something like that it's like every time I would get into it, it was a habit so that every time I would take my glasses off, I would automatically, I was obsessed with like the fact that like I was upset that I was like thinking like negative thoughts. So then it would just come up every single time I take it. So it was a yeah. nightly thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I use the word negative thoughts cause I don't want to say evil thoughts because that makes me sound like I'm an ax murderer yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. I, and I am not. No. Um, and that's like the other thing too is like, OCD has also like caused me to like really figure out who I am and mm. know who I am because like I know like and I actually I went to a Christian counselor she's like right by the right by the church mm -hmm. there's like a how do you know um shell house funeral home yeah I think we talked about this yeah, yeah 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 like the house there's a house like right there by the stop sign and yeah. it's a Christian counseling center mm -hmm. and um so my counselor I started seeing her in in high school and she really really helped me um, to like, she, she had, she gave me like different sayings, like, um, God is God and I am not. And say it again. God is God and I am not. Oh, interesting. And then she would also, she gave me this really excellent advice, which I still use to this day where like, if I'm worrying about something, like obsessing over something, but mm -hmm. it seems silly. Yeah. Like when I'm driving and I think I hit someone, but I know I didn't hit someone. Right. She would say, go completely forget about it like it's going to be awkward because like your compulsion is going to want to like yeah. do something about it yeah. otherwise something's going to happen yeah. walk away for force yourself to walk away from it come back in five minutes and if it's still in a worry to reassess and yeah. almost every time i do that it's not like i forget about it it's not yeah. a big deal because mm -hmm. it wasn't a big deal mm -hmm. to begin with so um so yeah that's kind of where i saw it and so, like, with my, like, you know how before I was saying, like, I'm an expert on my OCD, but not on OCD. Like, yeah. I don't know. I've never really read much about it because of my problem with reading. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I haven't done much research. But I would imagine that probably with most people with OCD, there is, it's tied to some kind of, like, thought process. Mm -hmm. And mine was something's going to happen to like someone is going to die because i don't know i guess i think just i just think that like people dying because it's so final mm. is what like was my fear yeah and um and that's what all of my ocd is tied to hmm. fear of death 
Yeah, of other people. Yeah. I'm, like, not afraid of dying myself. Yeah, that's interesting. But, like, people that I love, my loved ones, Yeah. but also people who I don't even know, like, my teacher's kids. Uh You know what I mean? Yeah. So... I mean, there's so much more to unpack for for that, but like, yeah. like you said, like, so, you know, we don't have like all night, but, yeah. um, those are the big things. Okay. Oh, and I, so another thing, like having to reread things, I also yeah. had to rewrite things. Like I would, and I found this in high school, like taking notes, like I would be like writing something down and if I thought something bad and and again this is where like the like habit and like the the compulsion comes in where it's like there's no reason for me to be thinking about something bad like death of anybody but then because I'm like stressed about it or because like I'm angry that it's a problem that I have yeah. it is it just it is on my mind it comes to mind yeah. like everything triggered it which is why it like got so bad in high school hmm. and like there were times in class where I'd like write something like the word the but then I'd have to if I was like if my pencil was down when I was thinking about those things mm. I'd have to pick it up erase and write it again yeah. until I wasn't thinking something and I'd have to like literally distract yeah. myself I bombed my SATs because of it. No way. <laughs> oh, no. Now, I, I don't know if bombed is the right word, but compared to, like, what I should have gotten yeah. on the SATs, mm-hmm. like, my intelligence level, right. I wrote and rewrote and erased so much Aww. when I was taking my SATs yeah. that they're just not, like, so thank God that Grove City, like, still accepted me without, like, with, like, a more holistic approach than just Aww. looking at my yeah, SATs yeah, yeah. because they weren't reflected of my abilities at all. Yeah. Um... So I think that's an interesting fact about me. <laughs> Do you think it's because you, I don't know. Do you want control of that or do you <clears throat> think you have it and you, you don't want it? Does that make sense? The control of like other people's lives in a way. Yeah. I don't, I know I don't have control. Yeah. Rationally. Um, and actually, I was just telling this to my sister the other day, or actually, tell me if it was you that I was telling this, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> about Seventh Heaven. No. Okay, so it was Maggie. Okay. I don't know, I don't know why I would get you and Maggie. It's so confused. funny, I was just thinking about yeah. <laughs> but, um, it, you know how, like, you just, like, get to, like, a thing where you're like, wait, deja vu, like, I feel like I might have told you this, uh, uh, that's why, uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah. but it was Maggie, and, um, I can pinpoint to you, like, one of the most influential parts of my OCD starting Mm -hmm. and it was watching an episode of seventh heaven have you ever watched seventh heaven i don't think so okay it was an i think it was abc family show um and it was about uh i think there were they had seven kids and then Mm. there was like the two parents and the parent the dad was a pastor and it's this like white suburban life thing but like they the one kid had like was new to having his license his driver's license mm-hmm. and is this a reality show or no okay. it's, it's fictional okay okay sorry and no it's okay and he um this is just like the storyline of like a tv show and so and they like ruined my life so i'm gonna i should sue them <laughs> <laughs> they never ruined my life um oh no it's okay I love the color of that water bottle. Me too, way. thank you. It's such a pretty color. I love yellow. Me too. Um, they, the, the premise of like one episode was that he, well, it wasn't just one episode because it actually went on for like, ow. Oh, <laughs> just a big bolt out of the, <laughs> for some reason. Right at head like, yeah. or like height. Yeah. They, he was driving one time, he was new, a new driver, and there was a guy on a bike and he hit the guy on the bike and he killed him like it, it mm. killed him and i don't know if he got distracted or what but whatever the case was it wasn't his fault like it, his name was simon mm. like the driver and it wasn't his like obviously he didn't do it on purpose yeah. and so seeing that made me realize for the first time in my life that you could hurt someone so significantly mm. without even trying right in that 
terrifies me because I never want to hurt someone ever. Yeah. And like, that's like my biggest thing. That's why like, I am the person I am. <laughs> and like, I'm always like, I try to be kind, which I'm not always nice. <laughs> and, but I was such a, like, like I was so prudish in high school because I was so afraid of like hurting people's feelings mm-hmm. or, um, but I mean, that was also paired to with where I was in my religion. But like, I, yeah, I'm like terrified of hurting someone. Yeah. Um, in me having that effect on someone. So I guess that answers your question in the sense that like, it's not that I like think that I have the control. It's that I realized at that point in life that like you could severely, literally fatally hurt someone without Mm -hmm. even trying. And then I was like, if that's possible, like, yeah, we don't have any control over that. And that like terrified me. And, um, but then I also realized that, like, you can't, you also cannot survive. You cannot live if that's something that, like, you think about all the time, which yeah. is, like, why I, like, forced myself to, like, get my license. Because mm-hmm. I'm, like, I won't be able to have a job in a normal life if yeah. I don't face this fear. So, yeah. like, it was something that I just, like, had to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if that answers your question or if that's kind of what you were asking. Yeah, I think so. Um, do you, So, you know that what you think isn't true Mm -hmm. but you just have to do it because because you're afraid that what if Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and yeah and and now the it shows up the most in driving now um that's the worst yeah Um, I don't think I'll ever be a normal driver, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Like, I think think that's going to be a problem for the rest of my life because, and it's every drive that I, that I make. So like my drive here, my drive home tonight, like it's every drive that I make, I like worry about like hitting someone, um, with my car. Maybe that is subconsciously tied to, um, Simon. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I thought at first. The driving. Yeah. So, but, like, I also think that it has to, like, it makes me who I am. So, I kind of wear it with, like, pride now because I, I, I think that a lot, so everybody has some kind of issue in their life. Yeah. And at least I feel like I've gotten to a point where I at least understand it pretty well. And yeah. I know how to cope with it. On, for the most part, sometimes I let it get to me and I just, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't use all of the tools that I have. So like I, I, I let it get to me, mm-hmm. but, um, that's like the gist of it. I, guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's like the, oh wait, <laughs> that was like the most silent transition I've ever made. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it also affected my relationship, too. Like, my relationship, my romantic relationships. Uh And I think that... I don't think that was the reason why we broke up or why we had any kind of relationship issues. But, like, I can tell you for a fact that I annoyed the (laughs) CRAP.